Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Rise of the Empire Territory Battle video guide. If you're interested in Territory Battle guides, they'll be linked to my Swag of Life website in the description below. And this one we will be visiting planet of Felucia and going up against these missions here. We have to use Hondo and Young Lando, especially the Young Lando one, oh boy. <laughs> that one took me a while to figure out a team that gets somewhat consistent results. Uh, Honda one is a little bit easier and more flexible with what you can do here. So we'll just start off with this. Uh, now the team I'll be using in this one is a Lord Vader team. Now I have no need of Lord Vader and Sith Eternal uh, on the dark side, that's why I'll be using them here. So spoiler alert, Sith Eternal in the Young Lando mission, because on the dark side in this phase uh, I'm using Supreme Kylo Ren, Admiral Trench, as well as Inquisitors. So again, if you're interested how I'm using those to save myself Lord Vader and Sith Eternal for here, link in the description below where you can find out all my Rise of the Empire guides uh so yeah we're just going in uh with lord vader maybe maul would be better here but mine's at relic 5 so i can't use him here so i'll be using throne instead just showing you the most that you can see and uh, relic levels of what i will be using i like piet in here because obviously he can put their mark over on lord vader uh, so Lord Vader can get a few hits i guess again if you do have maul can use instead of throne and we are forced to use hondo and finally royal guard there obviously for the taunt heals and things like that uh, so let's just hop in the battle and let me show you how i run this team in first wave it's just about getting your ultimate ready for the wave two and hopefully you can knock out wave two quite easily as well there we go getting a couple of hits on us already <laughs> okay piet counter-attacking calling some random assist royal guard obviously healing up our empire allies as well gonna go ahead and put mark over on our lord vader i'm gonna go ahead fracture stormtrooper put captive on imperial officer because i think he's got an ao in his basic or something like that and uh, now that i can drop a daze hopefully as well well it's not like uh, lord vader in days already but double the days double the fun right we can keep calling their pf for assist then he will call lord vader for assist so as you can see here, we're just kind of waiting, getting our ultimate ready, and eventually enemies will start dying off by all this damage over time we are applying. So pretty straightforward so far. Get some nice counter attacks out from Royal Guard. Let's go ahead again, put the mark over on Lord Vader just to help out Royal Guard a little bit. That he's not the only one taking all the hits. There we go. Okay, just keep smashing those AoEs. Definitely like wave one, you know, it's not too tricky there. I mean, as you can see, one of my guys do get low a little bit, but somehow we keep healing up uh, because of the operations bonus here. We get this heal over time that helps a little bit whenever we uh, get a turn. There we go. Good thing about Thron there uh, on his basic. Um, uh, obviously, land speed up. When speed up expires, it will turn into ability block and then thrones basic there gets stuns on uh, enemies with ability block that can't be resisted so you can a little bit control them as well there we go ultimate fully charged uh, but obviously i will save it for the next wave uh, i'm not gonna waste it here because we will need to keep these guys under control in wave two so i'm just gonna go ahead here finish these guys off using basics really there we go damage over time doing their thing Stormtrooper there died off from damage over times as well. Now here comes a little bit trickier bit wave 2. Like Tarkin, he's really deadly, really threatening. Like his AoE, even basic, can one-shot your guys. That's why you want to save up the ultimate so you can drop those ability blocks. Drop a fracture on Tarkin as well so he doesn't get a turn. And there we go. Whenever Hondo has that ability to call assist, I like to call Piet for assist because then Piet will call Lord Vader. And now we're doing all this extra two damage uh, because obviously we have ultimate. So we should be able to burn through the, these guys fairly quickly. Just keep hitting Tarkin. Everybody else will just kind of die from damage over times anyway. Stormtrooper there got a little bit in the way with his taunt. Hopefully we got a fracture already. No, we don't. Anyway, let's go ahead and finish him. Uh, Tarkin there is stunned again thanks to that stun uh, from um, either I guess basics from Royal Guard or basic uh, from Thrawn. There we go, just down to range trooper and down he goes as well. So definitely I found Lord Vader working really well in this mission. Okay, so that was the easy portion of today's video. Now it comes the more challenging one, well, the more RNG based one I guess. 
Um, so while I was doing testing uh, for the past, you know, two, three months, I then sometimes would start off with the basics, sometimes with the mass assist, sometimes with a heal when I was trying out different teams. And after I start using this uh, Sif Eternal squad, I'll show you. She just keep using heal to begin with, which obviously is the preferred scenario because then everybody survived the opening attack from Aiden uh, but again your mileage may vary depending on what Aiden uh, will do it also doesn't help us that this mission requires young Lando and any sort of team that would actually have synergy with young Lando gets obliterated pretty much straight away so I understand why CG <laughs> is giving us these kind of missions and requirements that actually can't really help us at all in completing this mission but anyway enough about that uh, let me show uh, my team now the idea here obviously is um you get your ultimate ready and that you line up at the end of wave one hits so that Talos goes in into wave two with a full turn meter so he can go and instantly defeat Aiden that's the idea at least um, just showing you the mods on my guys. Um, I didn't actually remod, it's just the mods I have on these guys at all. Young Lando, doesn't matter. He doesn't really need do anything, to be honest. Okay, let's hop in the battle and let me show you how I run this team. All right, here we go. Uh, so we're just gonna link up Officer and uh, Range Trooper. Uh, obviously Range Trooper there, he's got a lot of assists and stuff. And Imperial Officer is Mission Priest Battle. I think he's got like a nasty AOE even on his... I think it's his basic, I don't know, or special. We don't really see the guy's abilities. So I think those are the, the biggest threats there. That's why we link them up. We get retribution, so now we are counter-attacking. Uh, which is nice a little bit, there we go, then they get retribution up as well, so they will be counter-attacking. Uh, so to begin with, uh, I like to go after Recon Stormtrooper, he's got a nasty AoE as well, so I'm just gonna start draining him. Then Stormtrooper taunts there, so we have to go after him. <laughs> they resisted that, unfortunately. Uh, we go mass assist here with uh, Sith Eternal, then basic there from uh, Nihilus Dispels buffs, that's how we were able to remove the taunt on a Stormtrooper, and now we can uh, turn our attention back over to Recon Stormtrooper. Gonna do a cooldown increase, just start working towards that Annihilate. Um, don't even know what the online lander does, so just whatever, he'll just die off. He's not really helping us a lot here. There we go, another drain on a Recon Stormtrooper. Uh, so we almost got him down, there we go. Now once you reach ultimate with Sif Eternal, you will want to hold off on using it all the way to the end of wa wave one. Um, because if you do go into ultimate once ready, you lose your uh, protection recovery mass assist ability, which obviously is very, very important to keep topping up your team so they can keep surviving all these AoEs and everything. Um, so I'm just gonna do their basic. There we go. Uh, Recon Stormtrooper finally died off. And now we can go after Stormtrooper next. There we go. We'll just keep going. Okay, as you can see, they're doing some nice damage there, but both luckily Malgus and Malak are quite durable. We got first Annihilate off, uh, took care of the commander there, so he doesn't keep healing up the team. There we go, and now we're just down to these guys, so I'm just keep going after Stormtrooper. Uh, I will leave Range Trooper and uh, Officer to the last. Okay, there we go. All right, just keep basics like with uh, there with Sif Eternal. Don't go to Ultimate as much before. We'll do that at the very end. Okay, yeah, these guys are very durable, they take a lot of punishment, but we'll eventually get there. <laughs> it's just about patient, really, because we want to save our special attacks for when we need them heading into wave 2. Okay, well, let's go ahead and also get rid of that bonus protection on range trooper, so that then we can either drain him or do a big hit with Malgus, lining up in a way that Nihilus got full turn meter going into the next wave. So there's a little bit of RNG as well in terms of uh, how well are you able to align the turn meter uh, at the end of this wave. Uh, so it takes a little bit of practice, but luckily once you get these guys both in uh, low health, uh, both their Malak and Malgus got sort of a mini insta-kill ability with the drain or the big hit from Malgus. So I'm just kind of grinding these two guys down, uh, saving my specials for when I need them. Okay, a little bit annoying their range trooper kind of putting protection up, but obviously as mentioned before, basic ability from Nihilus will get rid of that. Uh, okay, so here we go. Let's do another heal. Uh, beef. And now we got these guys in the red. Um, let's get rid of that protection up again. And then we should be uh, ready here uh, to kind of start lining up this um, turn order in beginning. I'm just going to do basic heal on range trooper. Another basic as well. 
These guys, even though they're in red, we are hardly doing any damage to them. They got very high health. There we go. We got a range trooper down. Um, just trying to line it up. Did a basic there. And now I'm going to go ahead, head into to ultimate with Sif Eternal. Okay. And now we can go ahead, uh, insta kill there, either with M Malgus or Malak, whichever goes before Nihilus. Nihilus, as you can see, he's got quite full turn meter. And now, heading into wave 2, it's a bit of an RNG, not sure what Aiden will do, but for the past 4 times when I was trying to record this, Aiden kept using her, like, uh, healing ability there. And that's why you need Nihilus with lots of turn meter. He can just go in, get Aiden out, and from here on out, you're not quite out of the woods yet. Remember, these guys are counter-attacking, um, so, you know, still gotta be a little bit careful with the AoEs at least until uh, you get uh, two more guys down. So here we're going to take out Range Trooper and uh, Recon Storm Trooper. First, I think in terms of damage output, they are the biggest threat here. All right. Uh, luckily there, Malak kind of keeping these guys a little bit under control with Fear. Now they hit Malgus, which is not ideal because obviously Malgus will not be landing Fear on them when they hit him. Okay, I'll just use Special. Resisted everything, of course. Why not? There we go, let's go ahead, unleash ultimate power. So you can see we're getting counter attacks here left and right. Definitely want to ease a little bit on those uh, AoEs. There we go. Here I could do drain, but I'm like, oh man, I'm not sure my Malgus there could take all those counter attacks. So I decided to hold off on the drain until maybe we heal up. Uh, I guess we'll just lose Malgus, fine. Get him down. <laughs> there we go. Uh, just trying to get Stormtrooper down, and at this point you are kind of good to go. Link up Scout Trooper, Link up uh, Commander. Gonna finish off Stormtrooper and then probably we can just hit autoplay at that point. Because these two guys, they don't have enough damage output anymore. There you go. That's how I've been completing uh, this Young Lando mission for the past 3-4 times. Again, it's, it's, it's a bit of an RNG and, you know, are you able to align that turn order? for Nihilus heading into wave 2, but as long as you get to do that, you have a good chance of winning. And there you go guys, that's all what I wanted to share you in today's video. Hopefully it was useful and helpful showing you, you know, the teams that I'm using here uh, in Felucia for Hondo and Lando mission. I'll see you in the next one, but until then have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.